What's up guys? In today's video, we go deep sea fishing out of Southeast Florida and we go out to do some bottom fishing and we end up loading the cooler with some beautiful mutton snapper. I show you exactly how to clean the snapper and in the kitchen, we make a delicious mutton snapper ceviche recipe. This is mutton snapper, catch, clean, cook. What's up everyone? I'm Dar Sizzle. This is Put In Hole in the Camera. What's up, we guys? are a fishing couple in South Florida, if you did not know. And today we are going fishing with some good friends aboard Family Jewel Charter. Family right? Jewel Charter, yeah, we're going fishing with some old friends. Oops. And we're making a new friend. Exactly. And we're also fishing the first time we've ever fished in Fort Lauderdale. I think we have been here very long ago on a, like a char a part of party boat. I don't think so. Maybe not. Anyway. Anyway. So we're supposed to be doing some, uh, I don't know, bottom fishing. We're we'll see what's out there. It's an afternoon trip, which is odd for us too. Yes. A little bit on the breezy side, beautiful September day. Yeah. And uh, let's see what we can get out there. But first I'm going to pay for parking and then meet you guys at the boat. Yeah, see I'm, you in a minute. We're at Cox Landing, if anyone cares. This is our friend, Chef Jamie. Whoop, whoop. He's a regular on the channel. You might have seen him before. Hopefully Darcy might not fish him again today. Ah. Let's see, he might not invite us back. Come on, take it. He's on it right now. There he is. There he is. All right. Come on, fish. Get off the bottom. All right, guys. So we made it out here. It's a little bit on the sporty side. So sorry if you get seasick from watching this. But we caught some, bought some bait from the Bay Lady this morning. I mean, this afternoon in the Intercoastal. Then we came out here and caught some live ballyhoo in the ballyhoo net. Pretty awesome. And we made out to the first fishing spot. It was about 150 feet deep, just drifting along it, bottom fishing, and hooked up with that live ballyhoo that the captain caught a little earlier. So hold on, this fish is coming up. First fish, first bite for me. Uh, I'm real fast, just in case. S word. All right, wait up. Here comes the first fish. Woo! Klusky. What do we got? A nice mutton. Wow, he felt a little bigger than that. But I'll take it. Thank you. All right, so Captain Ryan putting us on the fish today. You can see that, let's get him in the sun. What do you get him on the measuring stick? Yeah, I got one. Yeah, oh, front? Okay, good with the front. front. Yeah. All right, sorry. Woo. All right, reeled him up from deep water so he's a little bit blown up there. His scales, but we're gonna get a quick measurement and see if he keeps or release him. All right, too Ooh, short. Too short. Just under 17 inches. They gotta be 18 total length to keep. So this fish has got to go back home. There he is. That's a better fish. Yeah. Come on. Oh, come on. Got a nice fish on. Get off the bottom. This is a nice fish. Now it's a battle to get him up here as fast as I can. Are you float? See the weight? See the weight? Come on. Oh, baby. Got it. I got it right. Oh, baby. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'll take it. Nice job. That was awesome. Nice job. Woo. That was a fight there. Using light tackle. I think we're using a 40 pound leader today. Circle hook, probably double time strong so we don't bend it out because we got to lock the drag up for awesome mutton snapper like this. Probably a solid four or five pounder right there. No need to measure him, so it's a solid fish. Nice, not bad. And now I'm whooped, I need a minute. Getting thumped, getting thumped, getting thumped. Come on, get on there. Nice and loud, Sizzle. I know, waiting for the bite. <laughs> it's windy, gotta be louder when it's windy. Okay. Got it. Oh my god! Nice fish, nice fish. Whew. All right, bottom bite is on today. Every drift, I've been getting a quality bite. Captain Ryan, Family Jewel Fishing Charters, putting us on the fish today. Yeah, it like just came up pretty slack there now it's digging again now it's slack color all right we got a big leader here for bottom fishing 
over 20 foot long. Oh, that's a nicer fish. It's like a nice snapper. Another keeper. Nice. He's slightly bigger, definitely, than that first. Awesome. Yep. So we got. So I got two mutton snappers, quality keeper fish, back to back. Like I said, thanks to Captain Ryan, Family Jewel Fishing Charters. I'll link his, all his information down below for you guys to check it out. And the circle hook's right in the corner, doing its job. What? Sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Jamie, our friend invited us fishing today. And uh, so far, <laughs> I've, I've caught more fish than he. Somebody got the hot hook. All right, I'll do the other side. Thank you. All right, there you go. Nice fish. Let's get him in the sun. Show you again. <laughs> all right, so you see this side? Well, it's hard to see, but he's all blown up. Reeling him up fast to different atmospheres. Mostly reeling just as fast as I can because it is Southeast Florida and we have plenty of sharks here that would gladly steal this snapper from me. All right, so two keepers back to back. Let's get him in the freezer or the cooler and get back to fishing. Get him, Mercy! Oh, get him! Another mutton! All right, that's three fish, three, three drifts. Another keeper mutton snapper. Pretty awesome for this area, especially casting another nice fish. It's probably like the smallest of the three, but at the same time, you, have, you can just look at the fish and know it's a keeper. So. That is a good thing. It seems like this front or this conditions is turning on the mutton bite. All right, there he is. Another fish on the live ballyhoo that we caught earlier, Captain Ryan caught. So these fish are chomping. We also got some live pilchards. So let's get him in the cooler box and catch some more muttons. Uh, and at least put some fish in the cooler because nobody else is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. He's getting though. paid back for that swordfish comment. On the money, just over 18. Just Perfect. over 18. Perfect. In the box with the rest of them. In the box. Perfect. All right. Good job, Doug. Thank you. All right, going back to fishing. <laughs> What's up guys, we're back at the house. It's the next day, obviously, because it was pretty pitch black when we left from fishing last night, but here we go. This is one of the, I think medium size, one of those, not the biggest one and not the smallest one that I caught, but I like to, like to uh, clean them off with the hose when they come out of the cooler, so that way it just helps dethaw them a little bit. This fish is probably gonna be solid ice, because you guys know that I like to make sure that they are very cold. It makes it better for filleting your fish and firmer. And of course, using a sharp knife is key to success here. But well, I'm excited. We're gonna do something a little different with this fish that our friend Chef Jamie gave us an awesome recipe for. So we're just gonna do a normal fillet process on this guy. Fillet him all the way down, go through the tail, and then just slab off this gorgeous piece of mutton snapper. But this is definitely one of my favorite snappers to eat. You guys know that as well as catching. I love to catch mutton snappers, have a blast catching them. And just especially in South Florida waters is like literally like a game to get them up as fast as you can because you just never know when a shark is gonna eat your catch. It's crazy. All right, then up here by the head, I always gotta get in a little further to get those extra pin bones. And then up here by the head, of course, that's where your sharp knife comes in. You gotta break them. There we go. All right, and there's our mutton snapper filet. Awesome, and I'm also wearing a snapper pendant. This is a mangrove snapper pendant available on my website as well. A lot of sterling silver pendants now available. I was selling them with braid, but now I'm also selling them with a sterling silver uh, necklace as well. So check it out. There's a wide variety of stuff to choose from. I know the holidays are coming up real quick. Um, fish hook necklaces, all kinds of great stuff. Sea turtles, redfish, mahi. You name it, if your favorite fish is on there, it's more than likely your favorite fish is gonna be on my website. But it makes a great gift. 
So we just slab that off, no big deal. This fish is pretty frozen, but what I'm gonna do now is just prepare it for Brian so he doesn't have to do it in the house because the way we're gonna cook this is that we wanna remove as much as the bloodline as possible. We don't want the bloodline at all. No bloodline whatsoever, and he'll explain why when we get into the house. So I just flip them over and then get the pin bones out. And basically I'm just gonna put it into two, just stake it into two seconds, two sections, the bottom loin and the top loin. All right, pretty much just like that. Not a lot of wasted meat. This carcass, I'm gonna start saving for stone crab trap season. So stay tuned for those videos as well. That'll be in the next month or so. Season will open up and hopefully cross your fingers that we get some stone crabs this year because last year was a really slow season for us, at least in our local waters. All right, and that's about done. Got a little bit of those rib cage bones out. So there we go. Bottom loin, completely clean. No bloodline whatsoever. Look how fresh that meat looks in the top loin. A little bit of red there. Probably just go in there and knock it out like that. It's not, but with a sharp knife, of course, you wouldn't be able to do this otherwise. All right, there you go. It's pretty much ready. All right, so that's about it. I'm gonna finish up the other side of this mutton. I don't think he has anything in his stomach. If he does, you might see a B-roll action here. If not, I'll meet you guys in the kitchen for the cooking with pudding portion of this video. Thanks so much to Sizzle for filling up that mutton snapper that you caught yesterday. She did such a great job, guys, out there. I'm so proud of her and uh, out fishing those boys. It was awesome. But uh, welcome, guys, to another edition of Cooking with Pudding. I know it's your favorite part of the show. And today we're going to be doing ceviche, like Darcy mentioned in, in the very first minute of, of the, this episode. And we're going to be doing a recipe from the, the fella you just saw in the video, Chef Jamie. Now, I don't know if you guys ever heard of Chef Jamie. He's a famous celebrity chef down here in South Florida. He is like the kind of chef that like, he's an executive chef. He's in charge of like 50 or 60 other chefs at the same time. He's, he's a big deal, all right? And uh, so he gave us a very simple ceviche recipe because he goes along with the same theory that Puddin does is that, you know, you don't want to have a million ingredients because they all just mix up into a, a mush, right? Just like all the colors mix up into a muddy color if you mix them all together. So we're gonna get started. We have, and you can see all, I got all the ingredients spread out. And the first thing I did is I cut up this mutton, pretty small, small than usual. And I got some B-roll here and, and you can see it. So we're gonna uh, cook it in acid, okay? This is ceviche, so you don't really, ceviche? I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Uh, so you don't cook it in the oven. We're gonna cook it with acid and, and we're gonna use lime juice. And we're gonna cook it in there uh, for about 15 minutes. Some recipes commonly tell you to do it like an hour or two. But Jamie says, cut it thin, do it for 15, 20 minutes, and you're not gonna have an overpowering, you know, acid or lemon or lime taste, whatever you're gonna try to do. So you can see, I got it in here. And basically you wanna cover the fish and sizzles on the camera. She can probably get in here close. You didn't have to use it all up, but how's that? Looks good. So I'm gonna take this, just put it in the refrigerator for 15 minutes or so. Cool, there doesn't mean I got so much fish in there all the time. And now we're gonna get our ingredients ready. All right, guys, I, I uh, drained it, whatever you call it with this thing. And you can see the fish, so it's getting there a little closer. You see how white it is? And it's not overcooked, it's not pure white. It might even be a little raw in the middle, but it's nice and white and cooked with that nice acid. And not for too long, just like Jamie suggested. Now, here's the ingredients, pretty simple. I got a bunch of onion. Now I've already cut this up, obviously. With, uh, and just to remind you guys, uh, you see got this B-roll here of, of cutting the fish and, uh, and uh, whatever I got here. I've got, what is it, cilantro sizzle? Got them cilantro. Anyway, you know, uh, Smith's has all kinds of knives. They have, this is house knives, uh, kitchen cutlery, uh, all kinds of camping stuff, all your uh, hunting stuff, the, the, the um, what do in your pocket? A pocket knife. They got all that stuff, man. I know, I know you guys are into that kind of crap. Cilantro, a little cilantro. I'm gonna mix it right here until we, until we see how good it is. And I'm gonna put some zest of, uh, sizzle, what is this? Ginger. Ginger, I'm losing my mind today, ginger. This is a zester. And we have all the fancy stuff here. Oh, I think I, I, think I just, just zested my, my nail off, but whatever. So got some uh, ginger zest in there. I'll put a little more. Ginger's delicious. And we're gonna do some salt and pepper. Of course, you're not a real chef. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sizzle, be quiet until I ask you. All right, a little salt, pepper, and some of this fancy salt. 
Ooh, comes out fast out of there. Let's stir it up, see what we got here. Now you can put all kinds of stuff in here too. You can put bell peppers in here, crunchy stuff. It's ceviche, you can really do whatever you want. We're just doing a super simple thing right now. Ceviche or ceviche? Ceviche, ceviche, I don't know what it is. Let me taste it. Comment below. It's pretty good. We're gonna add a little more salt. I'm gonna add Putin's secret ingredient or favorite ingredient. What is that, Dar Sizzle? I don't know. You, it's sugar. No. A little pinch of sugar. Oh my gosh. There's a ton of sugar. That was a pinch. It's gonna be delicious. Mmm. That's pretty good, Dar Sizzle. I'd add more sugar, but Darcy's gonna yell at me. All right, that's good. I don't think I'm gonna share. I'm gonna put the camera on a tripod and see what Darcy thinks. Right back. All right, Darcy Sizzle. I think I was gonna say, he does a great job cooking, but he, it's just so funny how he is with, with like just tasting it right out of the bowl and stuff. If people are here, like they candy, he should be freaking out. But luckily he just cooks for him and I, so he just double dips all the time. So you say you have my cooties already? I'm just saying like most chefs, I don't think would do that. But at the same time, he's cooking for him and I. They don't tell you about have it. Have each other's cooties, exactly. <laughs> I'm eating out of a little shot glass, little glass. That's right, what kind of shot glass is that? Oh no, this is a whiskey <laughs> glass. But you, I don't even right? know. Anyway, it goes great with Wong Shark. <laughs> Wong Shark runs at Savai Chain. Very good. Very good. I'm eating out of this bowl right here. Simple is best. Simple is best. Thank you, Chef Jamie. Yeah, this is really a, uh, a fish-centric ceviche, which maybe that's how it's supposed to be, you know? There's no re I mean, it's you can taste the fish. It's like almost like sushi, mm -hmm. in between sushi and ceviche. Mm-hmm. But, hmm. And most people will tell you that snapper is definitely one of the best fish to use for ceviche. Of course, you can do it with anything, from swordfish to anything. Anything, really. Mm-hmm. Hogfish, I think, is known for that, but this is really, really good. So, so good, thank you so much. Mm. Well, thank Chef Jamie, of course. Just sit down with a cerveza. <laughs> cerveza, yeah, there you go, that's a good one. Uh, thanks to Chef Jamie, of course, for inviting us on the trip. Thank you, Captain Ryan, for putting us on the fish. Yeah. Thanks to the sizzle, cleaning the fish, and thanks to me, cooking the fish. There you go. That's about it, until our next yeah. adventure. Everything we talked about, gonna be down in the description below, of course, if you're interested in the charter and all that good stuff. But yeah, until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Beer is so good with this. It does go good. It's really good. <laughs> Perfect combination. Mm. Yummy.